Hello, Jennifer Harris with this episode of Fermented Science. Today's topic, animals in their natural habitat. There's a reason that we don't find polar bears in the Caribbean and iguanas in Alaska. Every species has evolved to thrive in its specific habitat. Both the temperature range and available food sources factor in to the longevity of all living things. This is as true for bacteria, yeast, and other members of the fungal kingdom as it is for creatures of the animal kingdom. Here are just two examples. E. coli and salmonella are types of bacteria that can cause foodborne illness in humans when they are found in high enough numbers on our foods. These strains of bacteria both thrive in temperatures above 40 degrees Fahrenheit. That's why we keep many raw food ingredients in the refrigerator until they're ready to be prepared. Because low temperatures are an inhospitable habitat for these potentially harmful microorganisms, we can postpone spoilage for longer periods than if the food is left out at warmer temperatures. Another example of the effect of temperature on microorganisms is the fermentation process in winemaking. Most of the desirable strains of yeast used for turning grape juice into wine thrive at temperatures between 55 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. This temperate range creates the best flavors in the finished product. What about higher temperatures? There is a bacteria called Acetobacter, which is airborne and found on flowers, fruits, honeybees, and in water and soil. This bacteria loves to consume ethanol, which is more commonly known as alcohol, and produce vinegar, especially at temperatures over 75 degrees. This could be a costly problem for the winemaker. If the fermenting wine is kept at temperatures that harbor and encourage the growth of this bacteria, the winery is sure to end up with a barrel of vinegar instead of the anticipated wine. While vinegar is delicious when drizzled on salads or used to make pickled onions, it's not what a winemaker is hoping to produce. The difference between a great bottle of wine and a savory vinegar can be as little as five degrees. Another factor in the vitality of microbes is the amount of available food sources. Carbohydrates, proteins, and even ethanol are food sources, which will factor into the longevity of the bacteria or yeast and how rapidly they will grow in numbers. You can see that the creatures in the fungal world rely on their habitat and food sources just as those in the animal kingdom do. I'm Jennifer Harris, and thanks for watching Fermented Science.